All right. Here it is. The Mach 2 Lose Speed Spool. Didn't think it could get better, but it did. Uh, I don't know if you folks watched my uh, Mach 1 review. Right there. There's the Mach 1. Now we have the Mach 2. Some little differences. Definitely some pros. Uh, very little cons, but overall pros. Um, so they call it the... SLP slimmer lighter and I don't forgot what the P stands for but anyways it's supposed to be a significantly smaller profile than the Mach 1 um, love the grips the EVA um, the, the windy it's called anti-wind grips but it's got one heck of a grip on it I mean, this isn't going anywhere when you got it. Uh, same pretty much uh, features. Got the uh, 10 bearings. Let's see if we can get that. It's up here. There we go. It's a 10 bearing system. And 7, 5 to 1 gear ratio. Now, as opposed to the... Mach 1, which is 7 1 to 1. Get it to focus. There we go. Now, rod superiority overall. Now, the Mach 1 is a 610 system, uh, medium heavy. This thing, um, it's, uh, it's a new technology for uh, uh, rod. It's actually 7 foot medium heavy. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Okay. With a fast taper. Now this thing feels like a medium action rod, which is exactly what I was looking for. Um, as you can see them side by side, you tell me, see this one versus the Mach 1. You can tell it's a definitely a little bit smaller. It's got the U design, the U form, the U, uh, Form right here I got this spooled with um, 40 pound Berkeley um, the new braid that they have that's like supposed to be like a Japanese uh, handcuff thing uh, the tighter you pull the tighter it gets um, now the difference is is the the, the Mach 1 has um, both in both centrifugal and internal magnetic braking systems centrifugal and magnetic this is strictly external external magnetic braking system it does not have a, an, an internal braking system um, now to take the Mach 1 apart as you remember um, you just pull the tab over and the slide comes off the Mach 2 has a pretty cool lever I don't know if I can get this on camera or not but it's right there it says open so what you do is let me see if I can get this you push it that's it and hold on let me see if I can pull this off as soon as you push it the slide just comes right off just trying not to take this pull with it there we go Okay, there's your magnetic braking and there's your latch to latch it back on so we're done we want to put it back together put it right back together and the lever on the bottom goes right back it's hard to do this with one hand there we go now it's on there so Okay, so you push it, okay, all the way back till it snaps, and we are good to go. Now, I'll tell you what, folks, I actually just tried, just came in the mail today, that's the box it came in, and spooled it with braid, because I wanted to uh, braid one of my uh, rods, 
Uh, a little bit of my arsenal over there. But was definitely curious about how it casts. And I'll tell you what, I was able to cast this thing damn near right across the lake. I mean, that you can, with braid on. And I've always, I don't know about you, but with me, I've always had problems with braid and uh, long distance casting. Um, I guess it depends on the braid, of course, and then the and then the reel that you got and the pull. But this overall combo, who cast like it was nothing, like it was regular mono. I mean, I was casting this thing like like miles and miles ahead. Um, it took very little time to dial it in. I am still getting the hang of it. I'm still learning about it. Like I said, I just got it in the mail. I, I, I actually ordered it a while ago. And then when I ordered it, they said, oh, wait a minute, it's not in stock. It's actually a pre-order. But um, here it is. I finally got it. And I was checking YouTube, not very many reviews. So I wanted to get that out there. So let's go ahead and get a whole shot of it. By the way, it's also got the loop port back here, which the Mach 1 does not have. Um, and, the, and the thing is with these, it only comes in 7 foot medium heavy. Okay, but look how many line guide rods or line guides it's got. I mean, this is definitely a sensitive rod. I'll tell you that right now. You can feel the entire whatever, like anything. You feel the bottom. Anything bumps it. I mean, you're. It's a very sensitive. I'm very. I'm very big on sensitive rods, um, and this thing is extremely sensitive. All right. Well, here it is, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you. Uh, this kind of made you either want it or not. But my recommendation is if you like if you like any of the loose products, this is one heck of a combo. I believe it's $179.99 on MSRP on it. However, uh, if you go on Dick's online right now, I believe there's a promo that's still active that uh, gives you a percentage off with uh, shipping free shipping so I ended up getting this for 130 something out the door I mean shipped so I feel like I pretty I got a pretty good deal um, if you guys find better deals out there feel free to comment again thanks for watching and this is the Mach 2 speed spool and uh, just for old time's sake here is the Mach 1 all right guys Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, whatever it is you do. I'm not too big on the whole YouTubing thing. I just use it for information just like y'all do. Um, thanks again.